Speaking of serving people poorly, here's another one we're hearing about. Of course, the horror is in Sudan. It's going bad over there. And people are trying to escape. They're trying to get out. It's, it's awful. And yet again, this looks just like Canada in Afghanistan. When we knew it was coming, we had the warnings, we had the rumblings. We have Canadian citizens and permanent residents over in the, the area that's breaking out in war. And we aren't evacuating. And we abandoned them. We left them. You know, the ambassador is always hightailing it out pretty darn fast in a luxury jet. But the people on the ground are screwed. And in Sudan, that's what's happening right now. So, uh, yeah, the big news, an additional 50 were evacuated out the other day. 50. You know, how is it that Calgary can ship 2,000 of people uh, a day down to Mexico for, for vacations from the airport, but it's impossible to get more than 50 people a day out of Sudan? Is it that hard to get a, a jet out there? And, in fact, it turns out most of those uh, got out from the planes and boats of other countries. Canada didn't even help them. The Canadians. Yeah. Embarrassing. We can't, we don't have the hardware. We don't have the military ability to save the Canadians or permanent residents who are there. There's 1800 Canadian citizens over there and 700 of them have said, please help me get out of here. And we can't because we are a country that's too inept and full of vain navel-gazing with a prime minister in love with himself and forgetting his actual duties to citizens overseas. And now they're stranded over there. And let's hope there's not more tragedy. In Afghanistan with our allies, the people who helped us out out there, we abandoned them, we left them. Again, the ambassador got out fast enough, but uh, they were left to the warlords and, and, and terrible uh, uh, Taliban punishments they were going to get for having cooperated with Canada. What an embarrassment as a nation. You know, we used to be such a, a proud nation in a lot of ways. And look what we're down to now.